So, in the last lecture, uh, we are discussing about the band pass filter and uh, there are two types of band pass filters. One is narrow band uh, band pass filter and wide band uh, band pass filter depends upon the quality factor. Today, we will discuss uh, the transfer function of narrow band band pass filter. First, I will derive the generalized transfer function, later we will substitute the impedances or the admittances with the corresponding resistance and capacitances. So, this is the generalized circuit diagram of a band pass filter which will be having narrow band. So, this can be obtained by taking the two feedback paths. There is one feedback path here and one more feedback path from here. So, operational amplifier circuit with two feedback paths is going to behave like narrow band band pass filter. This is V i, this is V naught. You call this one as Y 1, Y 2, Y 3, Y 4, Y 5. First, I will derive the generalized transfer function in terms of uh, y 1 to y 5. Later, we will substitute this y 1 to y 5 with the corresponding resistors or capacitors. So, in order to derive the expression for v naught by v i, I will consider two nodes, this is node A, this is node B. So, because of this ideal op amp characteristics, v b will be 0 volts this is virtual ground. So, if I apply the KCL at node A, so you see the current which is entering here, if I call this one as I 1, this is I 2 is leaving, I 3 is leaving, I 4 is also leaving. So, what will be this? I 1 is equal to I 2 plus I 3 plus I 4. What is I 1 in terms of uh, admittance? This V i is the voltage here and the voltage here if you call as V a minus V a into Y 1 is this I 1. Now, this is admittance you have to multiply, if it is resistance you have to divide by resistance is equal to I 2, this voltage is V A, the other voltage is 0, so V A minus 0 into Y 4 and here this is V A minus V B, but V B is 0, so V A minus 0 times Y 2 and this is V A and this is V naught. So, this I 4 is V A minus V naught admittance is Y 3. If you take all V A terms to one side and V A and V naught terms to other side, we will get this one as this is equal to. So, only one V naught term is there remaining all V A terms. So, V A this is y 4, y 2, y 3. So, y 2 plus y 3 plus y 4 times v a minus v naught into y 3. This will be from this side v i into y 1 minus v 
minus V A into Y 1. Now, we will take this V A to other side and V naught to left hand side. You will get V I into Y 1 minus minus becomes plus V naught into Y 3 this minus becomes plus this is V A and Y 1. So, if I take V A as common this will be Y 1 plus Y 2 plus Y 3 plus Y 4 into V A. This is equation 1. But I know to derive the transfer function we need V naught by V i. So, I have to express now this V a in terms of V naught. For that I will consider the KCL at node B. So, this I 3 is entering into node B and here the current is 0. So, the same I 3 will flow through the Y 5 also. So, I 3 in terms of V A V B is V A minus V B is 0. So, V A into Y 2 is equal to this is V B is 0, 0 minus V naught into Y 5 implies what is V A minus y 5 by y 2 times v naught. Now, we will substitute 2 in 1, so that v a we can express in terms of v naught, so we can derive the transfer function. Plus V naught into Y three is equal to minus Y five by Y two into Y one plus Y two plus Y three plus Y four into V naught. If we take V naught times to one side, so this will become if I take to other side this will be minus sign implies V i into y 2 if I take to the other side y 1 y 2 plus v naught y 2 y 3 is equal to left hand side is minus of y 5 into y 1 plus y 2 plus y 3 plus y 4 into v naught or v i into y 1 y 2 is equal to minus of this is y 2 y 3 and these are y 1 y 5 plus y 2 y 5 y 3 y 5 plus y 4 y 5 this whole thing into v naught. Therefore, what is the transfer function V naught by V i is equal to Y 1 minus this minus and I will take to other side minus Y 1 Y 2 divided by Y 2 Y 3 plus Y 1 Y 5 plus Y 2 Y 5 plus Y 3 Y 5 plus Y 4 Y 5. This is generally the expression for the op amp circuit with the two feedbacks. Now, if I want to realize this using resistance and capacitances, the circuitry will be like this. This is V naught, this is V i, and this is R R C R C. 
So, what is now y 1? This is y 1 you call as I r 1 this is 1 by r 1 which is you can call as g 1 and this is y 2 in a place of y 2 what is there we have c 2 you can call. So, y 2 is equal to s c 2 because this is admittance and y 3 what is I, y 3 y 3 this one this is also capacitance. So, this is equal to s if I call this as c 3 s c 3 and y 4 is nothing but this and this is y 5. So, you call this one as r 4 r 5. So, y 4 is r 4 y 5 is 1 by r 4 which is g 4 is 1 by r 5 which is g 5. If I substitute these values in this transfer function v naught by v i this is equal to minus of y 1 y 2 divided by y 2 y 3 plus y 1 y 5 y 2 y 5 y 3 y 5 y 4 y 5. So, if you substitute these values what happens y 1 y 2 y 1 y 2 becomes s c 2 g 1 minus s c 2 g 1 divided by y 2 y 3 s c 2 s c 3 s square c 2 c 3. plus y 1 y 5 y 1 y 5 is g 1 into g 5 y 2 y 5 s c 2 into g 5 y 3 y 5 s c 3 g 5 y 4 y 5 g 4 into g 5. Now, I will write this in the form of a transfer function of a parallel RLC circuit. So, I will discuss what is that parallel RLC circuit. That transfer function will be in the form of minus g 1 by this will be s and 1 by s. So, in order to get this transfer function in the form of the transfer function of parallel RLC circuit, I will take SC 2 common. So, if I take SC 2 common in the numerator we will get minus G 1 divided by, we divide each and every term in the denominator by SC 2. So, this 1 S and 1 C 2 will get cancelled. What is left here? S times C 3. So, this is nothing but S square C 2 C 3 we are going to divide with S C 2. So, C 2 C 2 get cancelled 1 S get cancelled S C 3 plus what is the coefficient of S here in these two terms we have S. So, if I take S as common here and of course, G phi also common. So, S C into C 2 plus C 3 into G phi this if I divide with SC 2, SS get cancelled, we will get simply C 2 plus C 3 into G 5 divided by C 2. So, this term is over, these two terms are over. Now, there are two terms which are left, this one, this one. So, that is G 5 is common and g 1 plus g 4 this you have to divide with s c 2. So, we will get this plus g 5 times g 1 plus g 4 by s c 2. This is the expression for v naught by v i. So, let us call this as equation 3. 
I will come to this expression later after discussing the parallel RLC circuit. So, I will compare these two circuits and accordingly we will derive the expressions for the center frequency, Q factor and bandwidth. These are the three important parameters of a band pass filter. This is a parallel RLC circuit, you might have studied this in your circuit theory course. So, you call this one as G dash into V i is the current source and we have capacitance C and resistance in parallel circuit is G which is reciprocal of resistance G is equal to 1 by R. And then we have inductor L and we are taking the output across this. So, what is the relation between this input current G dash V i output voltage V naught and this admittance. So, what is this overall admittance Y is equal to S C plus G plus 1 by S L. So, we know that V is equal to Z i in terms of impedance, but what is i is equal to V by Z, 1 by Z is nothing but V by. So, the current is equal to voltage into admittance. Here this current is opposite direction, so I will take minus of this one. So, this current i I will take here as minus G dash V i, this is the current. What is V? V naught, this is equal to V naught. What is Y? Is this S C plus G plus 1 by S L. This is the I mean uh, relation of this parallel RLC circuit. So, from here what is V naught by V i? minus G dash by S C plus G plus 1 by S L. This is I call equation 4. Now, the transfer function of band pass filter is in a similar manner to that of parallel RLC circuit. So, by comparing these two, so I will uh, rewrite this expression of band pass filter here. This is minus G1 by SC3 plus C2 plus C3 by C2 into G5. plus G 5 into G 1 plus G 4 by S C 2. G 5 into G 1 plus G 4 by S C 2. So, we compare these two now. By comparing this G dash is equal to G numerator and the factor of S is C here, C 3 here. So, C is equal to C 3 and G will be C 2 plus C 3 divided by C 2 into G 5 and 1 by S S is this one, 1 by L is G 5 times G 1 plus G 4 divided by C 2 implies what is L? C 2 by G 5 into G 1 plus G 4. 
So by comparing these are the relation between parallel RLC circuit and the narrow band band pass filter. Now there are some important uh, parameters of this parallel RLC circuit. This parallel RLC circuit uh, resonates under some conditions. So if I plot this current through this parallel RLC circuit, this will be resonates something like this. So this occurs at some frequency say F naught. This is unity and at 0 0.707 if the frequencies are F L and F H. See higher cutoff frequency, lower cutoff frequency, this is central frequency and this is bandwidth. This is the resonance characteristic of parallel RLC circuit. Now in band pass filter also we require similar type of the characteristics that is why we are comparing these two. Okay. First I will derive the expressions for this F0 bandwidth and quality factor which is defined as F0 by bandwidth. If I call this as Q0. So I will derive the first uh, these uh, three important parameters. One is the resonant frequency or this is corresponding to central frequency in case of band pass filter and then quality factor and then bandwidth. First I will derive the expressions for this parallel RLC circuit. Now by using this substitution, I will find out the, the corresponding parameters for the narrow band pass filter. Okay. So at resonance, what happens is the circuit becomes resistive, this circuit becomes resistive. at resonance. So when does the circuit becomes a resistive network? The imaginary term has to be becomes 0. So the general expression for the impedance Z is given by R plus J omega L minus plus 1 by J omega C. or this is equal to R plus J times if I take this J to the numerator this becomes minus omega L minus 1 by omega C. So in order to behave this as a resistance the imaginary part has to be 0. So at resonance what happens omega L is equal to 1 by omega C. If I call this resonant frequency as omega naught then this is omega naught where omega naught is the resonant frequency. So what is the expression for the resonant frequency? Omega 0 square is equal to 1 by LC or omega 0 is equal to square root of 1 by LC. This is the resonant frequency of parallel RLC circuit. Now what is the resonant frequency? The resonant frequency in case of uh, parallel RLC circuit is similar to the central frequency of band pass filter. Therefore, the central frequency of band pass filter I'll call as band pass filter is given by this LC is parameters of this parallel RLC circuit whereas what are the parameters of uh, 
the bandpass filter this R1, C2, C3, R4, R5. So, how to express this central frequency in terms of these parameters? Resonant frequency you can express in terms of these parameters. So, in order to get this central frequency in terms of R's and C's, so I will use this notation. So, what is L and what is C here? This is L and C. L is C2 by G5 into 1 G1 plus G4 and C is C3. So, L is C2 by G5 into G1 plus G4, this is 1 by square root of C2 by G5 into G1 plus G4 and C is C3. So, this is equal to now square root of G5 into G1 plus G4 divided by C2 C3. So, G1 G2 G1 is nothing but 1 by R1. Similarly, G4 1 by R4, G5 1 by R5. So, if I substitute this, we will get this expression in terms of R's and C's this R's and C's we have expressed the central frequency of this band pass filter. This is the one important parameter. Then I will discuss about the quality factor. First I will discuss about the parallel RLC circuit. Then I will substitute the corresponding values in the parallel RLC circuit expression to get the quality factor of band pass filter. So, for parallel RLC circuit, how do you define the quality factor? Q naught can be defined as omega 0 RC. This is one of the standard expression uh, which uh, you might have used in your circuit theory. Otherwise, also you can remember that the quality factor of parallel RLC circuit is omega 0 times RC. Now, what will be this for the band pass filter? Omega 0, what is R and what is C? This you can also express as because R is not there, G is there, so C by G, 1 by R is G. So, this is omega 0, C becomes C3, and what is G? C is C3, G is C2 plus C3 by C2 into G5. this is your G. So, if I substitute this what will be quality factor omega 0 C 2 C 3 divided by C 2 plus C 3 times G 5. This is the quality factor of band pass filter. This is the central frequency of band pass filter. Then the third parameter is bandwidth. For parallel RLC circuit, what is bandwidth and what is corresponding to band pass filter. So, relation between the Q factor and bandwidth is this is central frequency divided by bandwidth implies what is bandwidth F naught by Q naught. But uh, what is f and omega is 2 pi f naught implies what is f naught omega 0 by 2 pi. So, this is equal to omega 0 by 2 pi q naught. What is q naught is this? If I substitute this one, implies bandwidth of parallel RLC circuit is omega 0 by 2 pi and Q naught is omega 0 C into G. So, omega 0 omega 0 will get cancelled, this will get G by 2 pi C. Now, what is corresponding to band pass filter bandwidth? 
g by 2 pi c but what is g g is this c is c3 c2 plus c3 by c2 into g5 this is g divided by 2 pi into c becomes c3 so implies bandwidth is equal to c2 plus c3 divided by 2 pi c2 c3 into g5 So, here are the three important parameters of a band pass filter whose response which we have discussed in the last lecture that will be something like this. This is exactly similar to that of parallel RLC circuit. This is your center frequency, this is unity, this is FL, this is FH and bandwidth is f h minus f l which is 0.707. So, the expression for this f 0 or omega 0 2 pi f 0 is this and bandwidth is this and the quality factor which is given by f 0 by bandwidth is this. For the sake of simplicity if I assume that this c 3 is equal to c 2. Then what happens to these uh, three expressions? For a special case of C2 is equal to C3 is equal to C, what is omega 0? C2 equal to C3 means C square. So, simply this is square root of G5 into G1 plus G4 divided by c square becomes c outside the root and uh, what happens to q quality factor omega 0 c c becomes c square divided by c 2 plus c 3 becomes 2 c into g 5. So, this is equal to 1 c 1 c get cancelled omega 0 c by 2 g 5 and what is bandwidth this is 2 c g 5 divided by 2 pi c square this becomes c 2 c square this is 2 c this is 2 c 2 c get cancelled we will get g 5 by pi c. So, these are the important uh, expressions that you have to use to design the narrow band band pass filter and the generalized expression for this narrow band pass filter is h of s will be in the form of minus a 0, a 0 is the open loop gain which is 1 plus r f by r 1 omega 0 by q s divided by s square plus omega 0 by q into s plus omega 0 square. This is generalized expression for transfer function of narrow band band pass filter where the damping factor zeta is 1 by q. So, if you want to express this in terms of the damping factor minus a 0 omega 0 zeta s divided by s square plus omega 0 zeta s plus omega 0 square. This is about this narrow band band pass filter. Similarly, we can uh, derive wide band band pass filter. Means Q is less than 10. For narrow band, Q is greater than 10. 
So, the design of wide band band pass filter is relatively easy when compared with the narrow band band pass filter. A wide band band pass filter can be obtained by cascading a low pass filter with high pass filter. So, what is the transfer function of ideal low pass filter? And what is the transfer function of ideal high pass filter? If I take this as high pass filter, this as low pass filter. High pass means it passes the high frequencies. So, up to some frequency, 0 gain and a particular frequency onwards unity gain. Low pass means it passes up to only some low frequencies. And then high frequencies will be rejected. Now, if I choose this value as f h is the cutoff frequency of low pass filter, f l is the cutoff frequency of high pass filter and it will take f h greater than f l. We know that uh, if I cascade two systems, the resultant transfer function is product of those two transfer functions. So, if I cascade this low pass and high pass, what is the resultant? frequency response is simply how to multiply this, this by this. So, if I multiply this from 0 to f l, this is 0, this is 1. So, 0 into 1 becomes 0. What will be overall response from 0 up to f l? This is 0, this is 1, 0 into 1 becomes 0. From f l to f h, this is also 1, f l to f h is somewhere here. This is also 1, this is also 1. So, f l to f h will be having unity. From f h to infinity, this is 0, whereas this is 1 up to infinity, 1 into 0 becomes 0. So, this is the characteristics of a band pass filter, but this technique is valid only for the wide band band pass filters. Okay. So, in order to obtain the wide band band pass filter, what you have to do is you have to cascade a high pass filter with low pass filter such that the cutoff frequency of low pass filter is greater than cutoff frequency of high pass filter. You see the cutoff frequency of low pass filter. This is cut off frequency of high pass filter. So, in order to obtain the transfer function of first order band pass filter with wide band characteristics. So, we will take two first order low pass filter, so, one first order low pass filter and one first order high pass filter. So, what is the transfer function of the first order high pass filter which we have derived in the earlier lectures also. So, this will be something like uh, this is resistance, this will be of course multiplied with A0. So, if we take the complete circuit this one, you see this circuit diagram of first order high pass filter and what was the transfer function here whatever the voltage if I call as V1, V0 is equal to V1 times 1 plus this R f by R 1, which we will call as A naught. We call as this as A naught 1, this is for high pass filter. So, what is V 1 in terms of V i? 
is equal to vi into r by r plus 1 by sc this is equal to vi into src by 1 plus src if i call these values as r1 c1 because i am going to cascade with the low pass filter for that i will call as sc2 and r2 so this will be r1 r1 c1 therefore what is v0 is equal to a01 into s r1 c1 divided by 1 plus s r1 c1 into v0 so v0 by vi is a01 into s r1 c1 divided by 1 plus s r1 c1 and we are defining let the cutoff frequency of high pass filter which will be lower value 1 by 2 pi r1 c1 then what happens to this v0 by vi as a function of j omega is equal to h s this is equal to a0 1 s r1 c1 divided by 1 plus s r1 c1 this is the transfer function and the frequency response is j omega is equal to a01 j omega r1 c1 1 plus j omega r1 c1 from here what is omega l 2 pi into f l is equal to 1 by r1 c1 or implies r1 c1 is equal to 1 over 2 pi f l will call this as 1 by omega l so this r1 c1 is equal to one by omega l divided by one plus j into omega by omega l so what is the magnitude of h of j omega is equal to a 0 1 omega by omega l divided by square root of one plus omega square by omega l square or 2 pi 2 pi get cancelled omega is 2 pi f omega l is 2 pi f l so what is omega by omega l is f by f l so this implies magnitude of h of j omega or j f you can call as now we are expressing in terms of the f this is the expression for the low pass filter you can call this one as lp otherwise where a01 is on plus rf by r1 and fl is 1 by 2 pi r1 c1 this is about the high pass filter and uh, similarly if you take the low pass filter this actually I am repeating this I have already discussed in the earlier lectures we have the continuity I am just uh, repeating this this is v naught we will call it this as rf dash and this is r1 dash because for uh, high pass filter we call it as r1 for low pass filter you have to take voltage across capacitor So this is v1 so v0 is equal to v1 times 1 plus rf dash by r1 dash this you call as a02 into v1 where a02 is 1 plus rf dash by r1 dash 
and what is v1 is equal to vi into 1 by sc by r plus 1 by sc. So, sc sc will get cancelled is equal to vi by 1 plus src. This is v1. So, what is v0? A0 2 times vi, A0 2 times v1 which is vi by <coughs> so what is the transfer function h I will call as hp sorry lp and what is frequency response and you call this one as 2 2 because 1 1 we called as the RC section parameter values of uh, high pass filter. So, we will call this as 2. One plus j omega times R2 C2. Now, we will define the cutoff frequency of low pass filter which is FH is 1 by 2 pi R2 C2. Therefore, what is H of J F we call as this F is equal to A 0 2 divided by 1 plus J 2 pi F and R 2 C 2 will be 1 by 2 pi F H from this R 2 C 2 is So, this 2 pi 2 pi will get cancelled, we will get A 0 2 by 1 plus J F by F H or magnitude of low pass J F is equal to A 0 2 by square root of J F by F H whole square. Now, what will be the circuit diagram of wide band band pass filter. First order by cascading two first order systems. So, we will get this wide band band pass filter. So, which is first high pass filter. This is the high pass filter. R1, RF, this we call as R1 C1, this is input, this will be now given as input for first order low pass filter. This is the overall final output of band pass filter. We are calling this one as R1 dash, RF dash, and this we are going to connect to RC section R here, C here. This we are calling as R2, C2. So, this is high pass filter and this is low pass filter. So, what is the transfer function of this one which we have derived is this and see high pass filter A 0 1 F by F L divided by square root of 1 plus f by f l whole square where a 0 1 is 1 plus r f by r 1 this r f this r 1 and f l is this r 1 c 1 by 2 pi 
R1 C1. Whereas for the low pass filter which we have derived here, A02 by square root of 1 plus F by FH whole square, where A02 is also 1 by RF, but here this is RF dash by R1 dash and FH is 1 by 2 pi R2 C2, this R2 C2. So, this is going to decide the higher cutoff frequency of wide band pass filter, this is going to decide the lower cutoff frequency of wide band pass filter. Now, this will be wide band pass filter response, this is wide this is center frequency, this is 1, this is 0 0.07, this F L is going to be decided by these values and this F H is going to decide by R 2 and C 2. So, then what will be overall transfer function? Transfer function of band pass filter means simply you have to cascade these two. So, overall is V naught by V i. If I call this intermediate output as V 0 1, then this will be V 0 1 by V i and this will be V naught by V 0 1. So, to get V naught by V i, this V naught 1, V naught 1 will get cancelled if I multiply these two this is equal to A01, A02, F by FL divided by square root of 1 plus F by FL whole square into square root of or you can multiply here in inside this here itself 1 plus F by FH whole square. This is how you can design the wide band band pass filter. I will take one example. Design a band pass filter with a pass band gain of four comma lower cutoff frequency of four hundred H and higher cutoff frequency of two kilohertz and also determine the quality factor also. So, overall gain is 4. So, in this we have A01 some gain, A02 some gain. It is up to you can uh, distribute equally or 1 and 4, it is up to you, but here I want to distribute this gain equally, 2 gain here in the low pass filter gain of 2, high pass filter with gain of 2. So, A01 is A01 into A02 should be 4, let A01 is equal to 2 which is equal to 1 plus Rf by R1 implies Rf is equal to 1 Rf by R1 is equal to 2 minus 1 1 implies Rf is equal to R1 we call as this as 10 kilo ohms and A02 is also 2 this is equal to 1 plus Rf dash by R1 dash implies again Rf dash is equal to R1 dash this also if you choose 10 kilo ohms so, all the four values will be having same resistance 10 kilo ohms each. Now, lower cutoff frequency, 
is going to be decided by F L by R one C one. 1 by 2 pi R1 C1 equal to 400 hertz is given. 1 by 2 pi R1 C1. So implies R1 C1 is equal to 1 by 800 pi. As I have told in the last lecture also, we have to choose some value of C1, say 0 0.0. .0 1 or 0 1 microfarads then you can find out the r1 value from here r1 is equal to 1 by 800 pi c1 that is equal to 1 by 800 pi into 0 0.01 10 to the power of so we will get some value similarly fh is given as 2000 2 kilohertz 1 by 2 pi r2 c2 implies r2 c2 is 4000 pi let r2 c2 is equal to is 0 0.01 or 0 0.001 it is up to you you can choose any available value for this c1 and c2 then you can compute r2 4000 pi into 0 0.01 into the power of minus. So, whatever the value you will get, you fix these values here for R1, C1, R2, C2, R1, RF, R1 dash, RF dash, you will get the design of band pass filter. So, this is about this band pass filters. So, we have two types of the band pass filters wide band band pass filter, narrow band band pass filter. For narrow band band pass filter, you have to take two feedback paths and uh, here also you can design in a similar manner. By properly choosing this R's and C's, here we can design this filter with any cutoff frequencies. Whereas in case of wide band pass filter, you have to cascade two uh, first order sections, two uh, filters one is low pass filter another is high pass filter in this example we have taken one first order low pass filter and one first order high pass filter similarly you can cascade one second order high pass filter one second order low pass filter to get the higher order band pass filters so next type of the filter is band reject filter that we will discuss in the next lecture thank you